Hey guys what's up? If you're a baseball fan, then it's possible that you believe cricket is a complicated sport. Same goes with cricket fans about baseball. While both sports are interesting in their own way and have their dedicated following, there are several similarities and differences between the two. Let's take a look at how different or similar the two games really are. By the end of this video, a baseball fan will know more about cricket and a cricket fan will get to know baseball better. And if you follow neither of the two sports, be prepared to learn about both. Lastly, if you understand both the games well, watch this video carefully and let us know in the comments if we've covered all the points correctly. Let's dive right into it. First the similarities. Both are team sports. Both sports are played with bat and ball. Both have batters and pitchers or bowlers. Both sports have a similar scoring system called runs. Both have similar ways in which the batters can get out. In both sports, the opportunity given to the batting team to score runs is called an inning. We've created a 5-minute explainer video on what is cricket for total beginners. Make sure to check that out, we'll leave the link on the screen and at the end of this video. Now let's take a look at the main differences. First the equipment. A baseball is typically larger than a cricket ball, whereas a cricket ball is heavier than a baseball. A baseball is usually always white in color whereas a cricket ball can be either red, white or pink depending on the format of the match and the time of the day. A baseball bat is a smooth wooden or metal club, whereas a cricket bat is always made of willow wood, typically English or Indian Kashmiri willow. A baseball bat is almost cylindrical in shape, with a thin handle. It's much narrower and longer than a cricket bat, which is flat and has two sides, the front side is flat, and is used to strike the ball, whereas the back side has a ridge. In cricket, just behind the batter is a set of wickets, which are three wooden stumps supporting two wooden bales. If the batter misses and the ball strikes the wickets and the bales fall, the batter is out. On the other hand, in baseball there are no wickets, however if the batter misses a valid pitch, it's registered as a strike. And three strikes means the batter is out. Both sports have fielders and a catcher behind the batter. In baseball, each fielder wears a glove on one hand for catching the ball and uses the other bare hand for throwing the ball. In cricket, the catcher behind the batter is known as the wicketkeeper and is the only player in the fielding side wearing gloves, that too on both hands. All other fielders play barehanded. Finger injuries, cuts, bruises and fractures are quite common in cricket. At 60 feet and 6 inches, the distance between the pitcher and batter in baseball is shorter as compared to cricket, which is 22 yards or 66 feet. This may give an impression that the reaction time in baseball is shorter. An interesting twist here though, in cricket the ball is bounced before it comes to the batter and may change behavior and direction after bouncing. Hence the actual reaction time for a cricket batter may be much shorter after the ball has bounced. In baseball, the diamond-shaped field in front of the batter is the area of play, and if the batter hits outside this area, it's a foul. Cricket on the other hand is played on an oval-shaped field and the entire ground is available for play, which means, a batter can hit the ball in any direction without committing a foul. A typical baseball match has 9 innings per team, and additional innings may be added if required. An inning comes to an end when 3 batters of the team are out. This is followed by teams swapping roles, and this goes on until both teams have batted out their innings in most cases. There's no limit on the number of pitches thrown by the fielding side. On the other hand, a cricket match comprises of one inning of limited deliveries per team, which means the number of times the ball is bowled to the batter is limited and prior to sighted. When this limit is reached, the inning ends and the team swap roles. The fielding team can force the inning to end sooner by getting 10 batters out. A batter gets only one opportunity to bat in a match, and if he's out, his role with the bat is done. A cricket test match lasts for five days and rules are different, so we skip that in this video.
In baseball, when a batter hits the ball in the field of play, he's required to run to the first base, no matter what. On the other hand, in cricket, if the batter hits the ball and feels that the ball is within the reach of one of the fielders, he may decide to stay safe by not running. In baseball, the score is counted based on the number of batters that can safely touch all the three bases and return home. If the batter hits the ball out of the ground and all the three bases are occupied by base runners, all of them can safely run home, which is known as a grand slam. The maximum run scored in this case is four. In cricket, batting is done in pairs, a striker and a non-striker. A run is scored when the batter and his partner swap positions. If the ball crosses the boundary, the batter is rewarded for automatic runs. If the ball crosses the boundary without bouncing, the batter is rewarded 6 automatic runs. As we move to the next point, if you'd hit that thumbs up, it'll be a great morale booster for us to continue making such videos. In baseball, the ball is thrown by a pitcher standing at the designated place. The pitcher often lifts the leg opposite to the pitching hand and lands it to get the momentum and force in the pitch. The pitch is thrown directly at the batter without bouncing on the ground. In cricket, there are two main rules that the bowler needs to follow for a valid delivery. First is that the bowler must roll the arm to release the ball, and the second rule being, the bowler's elbow must not be bent at the time of releasing the ball, hence, throwing a ball like done in baseball would be termed as chucking the ball and considered invalid. The bowler usually runs into bowl to get a momentum and rhythm. Fast bowlers usually have a longer run-up and a significant jump to get as much force as possible. The ball usually comes to the batter after one bounce. In cricket, only one batter can get out in a single play, and if two of them get out in one play, only the first out is valid and thereafter the play is considered dead. On the other hand, in baseball, one or more batters or runners can get out in a single play, known as double play, triple play and in very rare cases, even quadruple play. These were the basic differences between baseball and cricket. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments below. The best way to understand the rules is by watching a few matches. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Once again, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Cheers.